Hey everyone, welcome to Talk Sustain to Me. I'm so excited to have Edward joining us today. Edward is a young climate practitioner with extensive experience working at international organizations, NGOs, and social enterprises. His expertise focuses on nature-based solutions, integrated land use, and the green economy. With an education background in public policy, he believes that public sector organizations, along with the efforts made by the private sector and philanthropic organizations, have the power to scale up and replicate successful approaches to new sectors, regions, and actors. Hey Edward, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for your invitation. I'm so happy to share my story and to talk to you. So I know you had an amazing six-month experience in Switzerland. You worked as an environment affairs intern at the United Nations Environment Program, which is known as UNEP. So how did it start? Like, how did you get this amazing job? Could you share more? All right. So basically, I think uh, my passion to work at an international organization uh, comes in a very early age but unfortunately many of the position even like interns require a master's degree so basically after my bachelor degrees in the chinese university of hong kong i pursued a master's degree at lse and during my time at lse i just you know uh, applied like 14 plus application on the Inspira platform. So basically, Inspira is a, you know, the HR portal for all the UN job available online. So basically, I just applied for it. And I think um, the whole process took me like two or three months. So uh, during the process, I have received like three or four uh, interview invitation and I um, proceed with one written test and I pass it. So basically, I just uh, started my unit internship uh, last year in in September. So to me, it's quite a meaningful and very you know invaluable experience to mm -hmm. me because I never never thought of working in UN right after you know my graduation mm -hmm. in, in in my master's degree. This sounds exciting. Well, for audience who are not very familiar with UNEP, it's a leading global environmental authority in the United Nations system. Its mission is to provide leadership and encourage environmental partnerships by inspiring, informing, and enabling nations and peoples to improve the quality of life without compromising that of future generations. So Edward, can you share more about UNEP, like what it does and how does it how drive sustainable development from more from a more global perspective. Yep, sure. So as you have mentioned, uh, UNEP UNEP is a prominent global authority within the U UN system, and tasked with providing leadership and fostering an environmental partnership worldwide. So basically, we're shaping the global agenda. But at the same time, we also have some sort of funding from our donor. So mm -hmm. we also do the implementation side. So basically, I worked at the ETPU, mm -hmm. uh, which is called the Economic and Trade Policy Unit. And in my unit, so basically, we're pushing two agenda first. So for the green economic development, uh, at the same time, the sustainable infrastructure. So um, we have two offices doing that, the Paris office and Geneva office. So mm -hmm. uh, I was in the uh, Geneva office and uh, basically for the whole UNEP in Geneva office is more like a global team, uh, you know, uh, for example, supervising or monitoring uh, our regional office like in Latin America, Africa, mm -hmm. even in China. So we are more like a supervision role. Yeah. So you mentioned of the economic and trade policy unit. Um, I know mm -hmm. that like during your internship at UNEP, you were working at this particular um, unit. So could you share more about this unit? Like um, what's the main responsibility of this unit and um, what's the connection between economic trade policy and the environment? Like how does this unit promote the sustainable transition to more inclusive and green economies? Yep, so basically uh, the ETPU of UNEP has a very vital responsibility in bridging the gap between economic activities and mm -hmm. environmental sustainability. Mm -hmm. The whole unit focuses on the intersection of economic policy, trade practices and their environmental impact. So it mm -hmm. seeks to promote uh, the transition to green economies that prioritize both 
So first of all, both uh, economic growth and environmental mm -hmm. protection. Mm -hmm. So by collaborating with government, businesses and civil society, uh, the unit formulate policy and strategies that integrate sustainability into trade and policy unit. Uh, in into trade and uh, and policy. Mm -hmm. So basically, to me, I have done like several policy reports that I can also share with you later. So basically, I think the overarching approach ensures that economic progress goes hard hand in hand with preserving ecosystem, reducing emission, and addressing social inequality. And it's quite important because uh, after uh, the pandemic, we seek green recovery. And it has become a global agenda, and we would like to push forward the progress of green economy and green recovery, uh, especially in in the southern part of the world. Yeah. So yeah. now let's focus more on your experience. Um, could you share what did you do as an environment affairs intern? Like, um, what was your major duties and work at your internship? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically during my internship, I had the privilege of working on a diverse range of projects mm -hmm. within the ETPU. Uh, but my responsibilities included conduct conducting policy analysis, as I've mentioned, contributing to several environmental reports and supporting some capacity building initiatives. Um, so I was actively engaged in collaborating with experts in the field, providing insights for uh, policy development and contributing to the implementation of projects that aim at fostering the sustainable infrastructure in the mm -hmm. Latin America. Um, so I think the one part that is pretty cool to me is that uh, although I'm an intern, but my uh, supervisor, my colleagues trust my ability and basically I was drafting a syllabus uh, targeting mm -hmm. for the high-level government official in Latin America regarding how to proceed with uh, sustainable infrastructure in the whole life cycle. So from design, build, and the commission. So I think it's quite good. It's quite cool experience to me in order to learn more on you know hands-on experience and to have some sort of you know engagement or direct communication to the high-level officials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this sounds nice. And I know that one of the highlights of your work was providing expert consulting services to the South African government, like to strengthen their sustainable water and biodiversity management. This is truly interesting. Like, can you share more about the project? And of course, if there are any learnings? All right, so basically it is under the PAGE initiative. So PAGE stands for Partnership for Action on Green Economy economies mm -hmm. um so we have 20 something member states and south africa uh, mm -hmm. was one of them so basically we have like three to five years to you know follow up with uh, the governments of the south africa to see their progress of pushing green recovery uh, you know and other green related issues and one of the highlights before their graduations is uh to provide a you know consulting service regarding how this is stable uh, water management at the same time uh, you know the biodiversity conservation mm -hmm. can be implemented together because we are talking uh, not only climate but also by bi uh, biodiversity mm -hmm. and also you know the mixture of that two elements so uh, as you can see in different international organizations like the World Economic Forum uh, they are talking about uh, net zero uh, nature mm -hmm. positive solutions yeah. and that is mm -hmm. part of them right so I still remember uh, basically the whole report was written like two years ago already but um, it is more like academic you know paper and you know what so many of the government officials not only in in south africa but i mean most government mm -hmm. would like to have some concrete action items concrete yeah. plus insight so mm -hmm. my task was to rewrite the whole you know policy report and to insert some of the you know policy recommendation so that uh, they can you know follow up step by step so it's quite challenging to me because i was a you know novice on this on, on mm -hmm. that film, but mm -hmm. um, you know, through different sort of communication and collaborating, and I understand uh, the requirement of the South African government, and you know, throughout the one weeks or two weeks. So basically, uh, the whole report was done, and they are quite satisfied with the outcome. So mm -hmm. I'm quite grateful about that. 
Oh, and I have also worked with Duke University on building a case-based learning system on sustainable infrastructure. Um, could you explain what's a case-based learning system and share more about the project? All right, so basically it is in the Sustainable Infrastructure Initiative. So uh, I was collaborating with the Duke University on a case-based learning system for sustainable infrastructure. And it is more like, you know, breaching the academic knowledge with real-world example, because mm -hmm. uh, we would like to share the good practices around the world and then to share those practices to those, you know, practices, practitioner who have less experience. So basically I think that uh, through that case based uh, learning system so everyone can involve developing case study their challenged mm -hmm. participants to address sustainability issues related to infrastructure development and it's also empowered the professionals and policymakers with practical tools mm -hmm. to integrate uh, environmental consideration into different infrastructure projects and ultimately contributing to resilient and eco-friendly solutions around the world. Mm -hmm. Great! And all the projects you shared were really interesting and impactful. Um, think about your overall experience, um, either your work at UNEP or at Switzerland in general. Um, what was the most memorable or the best part of your experience? And were there any learnings? Yep, uh, I think for me amongst those rewarding experiences what stood out the most was the opportunity to work alongside dedicated individuals mm -hmm. or senior colleagues from, from diverse background all united by shared commitment mm -hmm. to creating a more sustainable world uh, basically our team is quite diverse uh, we have colleagues from canada uh, brazil uh, mainland china uh, uk so basically Although we are, we, are, we are in different nationality, but we share one goal. Uh, we would like to push forward, uh, you know, sustainable infrastructure and green economy mm -hmm. all around the world. And the most valuable lesson I learned was the immense power of collaboration and how it's essential to leverage the strengths of various stakeholders to address, you know, uh, complex global challenges effectively. So I think uh, this internship not only enriched my understanding of policy implementation, but uh, also like emphasize the critical role of diplomacy because uh, through diplomacy or through collaboration, uh, we can really foster green growth or green recovery. So finally, let's talk about something fun. Like how was, how was Switzerland? Like any exciting, fun things you did in this one of the most beautiful places in the world? Yep, so you know what, Switzerland with its stunning landscapes and vibrant culture often, you know, a lot of exciting experiences. I still remember uh, like in last December, so during this Christmas, I mm -hmm. took like more well, like a month of uh, vacation wow. going to <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. so basically, uh, I think it is the top of the Europe and I took the car and, you know, climbed uh, to the top of the Europe just in just I think 20 minutes so basically I think it is quite a new experience to me and I have to go through all those you know lack of oxygen fresh air <laughs> but it's, I can enjoy a lot of beautiful you know scenery mm -hmm. so I think it is quite an interesting and you know quite you know exciting experience to me and Switzerland also very interesting in a way that uh, in summer or in winter mm -hmm. they can offer different kind of views. So mm -hmm. uh, I recommend you guys also, you know, doing an internship or even uh, have a trip in Switzerland and it can offer a lot of things to you. That sounds cool. So um, it's really fun to hear about your stories and um, your internship and your travel experience in Switzerland. So yeah, I'm glad that you had this opportunity and, and really thank you so much for your time. It's fascinating to hear your unique experience as an environment affairs intern at UNEP. Um, we learn more about the functions of UNEP, especially the role of the Economic and Trade Policy Unit. And it's also interesting to hear what you achieved as an intern and some very amazing projects you and your team worked on. And thank you so much for sharing. For anyone who would like to learn more, feel free to reach out to Edward on LinkedIn. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. See you in the next video.